Brazil's swap rates have fallen to a one-month low and economists have lowered their forecasts for growth and inflation. Spurring speculation, the central bank will refrain from increasing borrowing costs next week. Joining me on the line is Italo Lombardi, economist and strategist for Latin America at Standard Chartered Bank. Thanks for joining me, Italo. Do you think Brazil's central bank will hold back from increasing borrowing costs? Yeah, that's our view. We think that uh, central bank is still preparing the ground, toughening the language to to actually move uh, with a hike in May. So next week, they probably won't do anything. Although the market is pretty split, there's a 50, if you look at the curve, it's pricing a 50% chance of them hiking rates by 25 basis points. What do lower swap rates mean for the Brazilian economy? Well, what we've seen is uh, there's there's been a, a significant movement uh, 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 over the last month, as you mentioned, but that's more of a technical thing. Uh, the market has been pricing, you know, higher rates due to the, uh, you know, the increase in inflation and, and, and inflation expectations. Uh, we think that there's a little bit of a, 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 a excessive pricing of hikes. We think that the central bank will try to do a phone load uh, a hike and therefore a shorter one. So not, not as many, not as much hikes as the market is pricing right now. Minutes of the central bank's March 5 to 6 meeting indicated that an increase in the benchmark lending rate from a record low of 7.25% wasn't imminent as policymakers said a cautious management of monetary policy was needed. Do you think keeping the benchmark lending rate at 7.25% is the right decision? Well, they, they're being cautious mainly because the economy hasn't shown uh, clear signs of a, of a, of a rebound. We, we, uh, all the data, the hard data, and also uh, the surveys are still showing a pretty ambiguous uh, picture of, of a recovery. The industrial sector is still pretty volatile, so they're not sure that, that the economy is on the right track yet. So, therefore, they're trying to postpone and gain some time and not you know, implement a, a hike uh, at this point, but we do think the right thing is for them to hike as we see inflation expectations deteriorating. And from our forecast, you know, inflation is, is going to, to climb. In, in fact, today, uh, March inflation was, was released, and we are already on a yearly basis. The IPCA, the, the official inflation, already above the six and a half uh, ceiling of the central bank target range. So something needs to be done. They may not do anything next week, but they will have to hike rates. President Dilma Rousseff's government is caught between the slowest economic growth in three years and inflation levels approaching the upper limit of the central bank's target range. Could we see tighter monetary policy in response? Yes, indeed. It is a scenario of a lot of people are talking about stagflation. Uh, but in fact, it, it, it's a matter of rescuing the credibility of the central bank of Brazil. Uh, it's very easy to lose credibility uh, if we see further deterioration of inflation expectations, especially on on long term uh, terms. You know, it, it, it could be something damaging. Uh, a lot of people start questioning the autonomy of the central bank. There's a lot of talks about uh, how how the government is influencing monetary policy decisions. So at this point, we think that the best thing is is for the central bank to to act and show that there is there is a, a, a goal here and the goal is inflation. That's all for now, but stay tuned to Duke's Copy TV for the latest financial news and updates. For now though, goodbye.